Hello, welcome to Project Overland. I'm Project and this is uh, vlog nine, Tales from Boxing Day. So, uh, and if you're not from the UK, that is the day after Christmas Day. So um, whatever celebrations you have, um, whatever religion or um, winter solstice, good Yule, uh, whatever you do, I hope it's been great. I hope you've had a great time and enjoying this. And thanks for tuning in and checking this out. So uh, I thought I'd give you a bit of an update um, as to where we've got to with the truck with Rosie. So you've seen the, uh, the painting now. We've got some um, footage of the inside. Well, shots of the inside. It's quite difficult to video inside it because it's a kind of white box. So it's a bit like doing the video from the inside of a ping pong ball. Um, it's not really a very exciting um, in, in a lot of terms, although it is exciting for me. It doesn't make for great TV, if you see what I mean. Cut some windows in the inside of a ping pong ball, get the idea. Um, I'm not selling it really, am I? Anyway, um, so that's, so we've got some of that. We've got some um, bargains that have, have been had, um, which I'll tell you about uh, coming up. Um, and well, let's get to it. We'll have a look. So, uh, yeah, cue the montage. So the great news this, uh, at this point is the MOT, the Ministry of Transport um, test has been uh, successful. This is, the, uh, <clears throat> this is the test that the man from the government or trained or appointed by the government says, yeah, you can put that truck on the road, it's safe. So that's passed, great. I always think, yeah, great, nice. We've done that joke already, haven't we? Previous video, if you've not watched it, go back, find it. You'll get that. So I'm looking, we're hoping to get the truck back end of January. So that's where we're at. And that would be one year then. So um, it isn't a quick process, but then we've had COVID. Um, the builder is pretty much the premier in the UK and it's very busy. So you don't get your, you know, you get your truck in, you, you don't get your build slot for six months. So um, um, it's a bit like trying to get a builder, isn't it? and get a builder if a builder can start next week you don't want that builder you want the builder that can't start for six months because he's busy so um anyway moving on uh, so we've got some interior photographs um which um, i'm going to show you now so let's have a look, talk through the interior i'll put some pointers up um and cover off some of those if you've got any questions uh then do put them in the comments below generator honda generator and um 6 kva huge big beast but it bolts in well hides behind um, a, a panel that looks like the locker um so you, and hopefully we'll have it on rails so it's going to come out on rails that's rails not rowing um international sign language for pulling out on rails and the uh, uh so you can service it so Really keen price. Um, I'm really chuffed with that because I probably saved about a thousand pounds on the, um, I know, right, fifteen hundred dollars on the true Masafia that you saw a picture of. Do you see a picture of it? I'm gonna have to go back and watch my own vlog now, aren't I? Um, if you haven't, I'm gonna put it in in a sec. And that thousand pounds has paid for the generator. 
the um, we're talking about wind generators. So um, because Britain's windy, it's an island stuck on the edge of um, of Europe, um, and it gets a lot of breeze. And so actually, do you know what? Um, so do quite a lot of places. And if you haven't got a lot of sun generating a lot of solar, why don't you have something that is just trickling in, even if it's just trickling it in? So I'm looking now at what have we got? Um, shore power. They call it shore power, which is mains. So you plug in when you're on a campsite. Um, solar power, vehicle generator, standby petrol generator. The vehicle generator is an alternator. Sorry, standby generator and wind. It's like five inputs for charging batteries. I'm hopefully not going to run out of electricity on that basis. Then we've got heating. So we've got potentially gas, electric, diesel. So three forms of heating. And then I've got water. So water input, you've got water from mains. So your hose pipe from on a campsite. And water that you can suck up through um, through a pump and then can put through filters so you can pull it from a river. So two sources of water. So realistically, we should cover all the bases. If I could cook, you'd be half we I'd be halfway there. I'd actually be able to survive this. I always like to think of myself as like some kind of like semi-survivalist and knowing full well that actually if push came to shove, once the shops are all out of food, I'm, I'm screwed. I can't, I can't do anything. All oh, this catching rabbit shit, none of that. No. It's like I'll be feeding them carrots. I've been feeding them the only carrots that I've got. <laughs> right. Talking to them. Sorry, tea. Wet the pipes. Anyway, where were we? Oh yeah, that's it really. Um, I, I've, I, I think that we're about there. Uh, I'm probably going to do a kind of summary vid, um, video for the year, uh, where we got to, because we will have had it for a, had the truck for a year, um, and where we've what we've achieved, which is actually quite a lot. Um, you know, very soon I've, the truck's coming back. My biggest kind of my only worry or not. My real worry at the moment is um, where am I going to put it? So everyone said to me, you know, it was a joke at the beginning, where are you going to park that? And I was like, yeah, yeah anywhere. Or there. Now it's actually coming down to it. My, oh, shit. oops, can you say that? Oh, well. Um, oh, bother. Um, yeah, where am I going to park it? Um, I was thinking, oh, as an emergency measure, I'll just put it across the front of the house. <laughs> Some sensible person pointed out to me and went, I, d I doubt your, the, the drains that are under your front garden are built to take a 12 ton truck parked on them. I was like, oh yeah, um, that's a problem. So now I'm back to, anyway, look, if you happen to live in the Southwest and you're watching this and you know someone who, or you own a farm or you own somewhere that's got a big workshop with a four meter door height, and you think, you know what, project can come and work on this project in the corner of my barn and he can tip me some cash, that'll be ace. Um, that's what I'm looking for. So um, tap up your uncles and aunts and your grandparents and anybody that you know that's got a, a farm or a rural a property down in the southwest within about 20 miles of Exeter would be perfect. Thanks very much. Well, I will not. Do you know what? Power of social media, you never know. Um, <laughs>
I'd like a. Um, it would be perfect for me. Uh, drop me a comment in the drop me a note in the comments down below with um, a reason why you think I should send you this hat, uh, and I will post it to you as a freebie for your support and kindness. Um, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you next time for more um, updates on where we are with Rosie and the project. Thanks for watching. To take care. To take care. Oh, take care. Stay healthy, stay safe. Bye-bye. Double-handed bye-bye? Who does that? Oh, I don't like any of this start. Start again.